I feel like when I think about the trauma that black men have gone through, along with the trauma that a black woman has gone through, we're able to heal each other because we know each other's pain. We know our ancestors' pain. Black men need a black woman and black women need a black man to help us be better and because, because we know each other. We, we need each other to heal those wounds that were never really treated. Welcome to my channel. This is Divested Diamonds. You have arrived. Hey ladies, please do me a favor and click the like button as you watch this video. Thank you, thank you kindly. So the dating scene for black women who keep entertaining black males is really bad. I mean, it's super bad. Is this what you ladies go through? And mind you, you have broke men out here who think that they are high value. So is any of this surprising at all? Without further ado, let's take a look at this madness. All right, you guys. Did you really come back with two separate checks? Yeah, that's what I was asked to do. You're really gonna make me pay? You gonna get some ass? No. Well, anyways, man, here go the two. She not gonna give me what? No ass. That's that's crazy. Man, man. wait. Are you? I'm gonna pay the fifteen. At least they're yeah, sure kneecap. Fuck you. See, that's your problem. You don't want to. That's your problem. You're He's really making me pay, you guys. Hey, how you get home? You're fucking taking me home. You're taking me home. You got gas? No. You want to give that to uh, the ride? No. You're taking me home. I think you heat up the food. All right, you guys. He's not making me. Um, he's making me pay for my food because I won't have sex with him. That's a sad shame. Look at this man. Don't ever go out with him. Don't give him your number. Just fucking run. Y'all hoes is hungry. You know what? I'm not mad at him. Nope. I'm not mad at him at all. He's just being his authentic self. I mean, look at him. Uncombed, unbrushed hair, struggle beard, cartoon t-shirt with a stretched out neckline, looking like he hasn't showered in days. I mean, the guy is telling on himself without saying much at all. And to look at how he presents himself and somehow think that you are getting a quality man is beyond me. As if that wasn't enough, the man splits the check and asks you to pay for your half? Are these the men that you're interested in? Forget the cheap restaurant. It's the audacity of asking if you're gonna have sex with him. Are these the men that y'all are competing for? So her bill comes to $42.74, right? The insult here is the fact that he thinks that your Garden of Eden is worth $42.74. The sad part of this is that you probably went out of your way to look presentable, right? And he shows up looking like some derelict off the street. He then proceeds to split the check. And when you complain about it, he has the audacity to throw sex in the mix. <laughs> I can't with these dusties, man. I. I can't with these dusties. I can't. He then asks her how she's going to get home. From that alone, I get the sense that he picked her up. And of course, her not paying attention to his level of dereliction. She did not anticipate this mess and just assumed that he would be dropping her back home. This is why you have men sitting on the internet bromancing with other dusty men about the fact that they can't find a woman. If this is how you behave, no wonder you're single. If this is what the current dating scene looks like, ladies, it's better to remain single. Better yet, you need to reevaluate yourself 
and ask what it is that makes you have this attraction to Krusty the Clown. And did you pay attention to what the server said? She not gonna give you what? And the dude was like, ass. His response, if you didn't catch that, was, that's crazy. Are you surprised? These are the low-hanging fruit that Kevin Samuels wanted you ladies to drop your standards for. This is insane. This woman had two men in front of her talking about her box like she wasn't even there. This is as low as you can get when it comes to dating. This is also why they sit online all day complaining about women. Listen, when you're raised in the barn, you do barn things. This male was clearly out of his habitat. This is wild. <laughs> it's wild. Super wild. Wow. My advice to you ladies out there is please have your own money when you go out on these dates because you never know what could happen. Make sure that you have enough money to pay for your order and make sure that you can get yourself an Uber to get back home. These types of males aren't looking for meaningful relationships, ladies. They are looking to sample your goods and then move on to the next woman who will tolerate them. As long as women keep giving these derelict males a chance, they will keep behaving this way and treating you exactly this way. She would have been better off at home, chilling with a glass of wine, relaxing with soft music playing in the background, than later on watching her favorite movie or reading a book and getting her beauty sleep. Please stop giving a broke, dusty man a chance. Stop giving attention to men who don't deserve you. Men who do not know how to behave. And you see, not every man deserves access to you. But if you keep allowing this, they will continue to treat you this way. People can only treat you how you allow them to treat you. So you're not gonna pay for my food? Are you serious? I get it. I gotta go to the bathroom. No, do not. Learn to love yourself and stop wasting time with losers. On that note, please leave your thoughts and comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And remember, ladies, divest from dust. Divest from madness. Always put yourself first and treat yourself with the utmost respect. Thank you so much for watching. This is Divested Diamonds, and I'll see you next time. Bye, diamonds.